Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin where it is super duper cold. It is below zero and has been that way since last week. And I question, why do I live someplace where my face hurts when I go outside? I don't know. It must be all the beautiful woods and the changing of the seasons and the skiing and the hunting and all those different things, I guess. Or because I was just kind of raised here. There you have it. Um, I do love Wisconsin, don't get me wrong. I want to thank you today so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to watch my video. I really do appreciate it. I'm going to be sharing with you today an adorable little box using the Sure Do Love You bundle. Now this is a Valentine bundle in the Occasions mini catalog, but you could make wedding cards out of this. You can make a whole bunch of different stuff out of this. It is simply adorable. We're going to make a box and then I've got some fun for you with some little cards too. Let's get started and I'll show you exactly what I came up with. The first thing we need to do is determine which of these amazingly gorgeous designer series papers we're going to use for our box. So I just wanted to show them to you. This is the Painted with Love Specialty Designer Series paper. You get two 12 by 12 sheets of each one of these. One side has foil accents on it, as you can see here in the light, and the other side does not have foil, but it is gorgeous. Wouldn't you agree? Look at how beautiful that is. Fun, colorful. These coordinate with our Calypso Coral Melon Mambo and Powder Pink cardstocks. Really pretty, right? So I decided to use this particular pattern for my box. And what I'm going to need is two pieces that are six and three quarters by four and a half because you need to make two of the boxes. Here comes the dies. These are called the Lots to Love box framelits. This makes the box and then you've got all these cute framelits that go along with the Sure Do Love You stamp set. Isn't that cute? This is just perfect for weddings, Valentine's Day. Absolutely love it. The first thing I'm going to do is take my box framelit and I'm going to cut out two of these in the big shot. The other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take this heart and I'm going to put it right in the middle of the one of the layers and I'm going to cut it out. And I'm going to make sure that the bottom or this rounded side of my box is on the bottom when I cut my heart out. I'll be right back. All right, so here are our boxes. And as you can see, I've got this heart cut out. And again, the rounded part for the heart is on the bottom here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take and you're gonna fold on all of these score lines. The score lines are automatically made with the framelit. You can see, I hope you can see in the in the camera that there are score lines here. So you're just going to fold on all the score lines. That's gonna leave you with these two boxes. Now remember I cut my heart out with the rounded part on the bottom here. The way that you put these boxes together is like this. So you've got the rounded part on the top of one and on the bottom of the other. The way they go together is just like this. So I wanted my heart to be on this side and I'm going to put my sides of the front of my box over the top versus putting them inside like this. It's just neater to have the folds going over the edge versus that raw edge of the side here. I hope that makes sense. I'm just kind of really picky about that kind of stuff. It's just one of those little things that bugs me. So we're going to go ahead and put some glue. And I'm using the multi-purpose liquid glue here. You don't want too much of it. A very, very small line of glue around this tab on the box. And now I'm going to just bring it in here. And I'm going to attach it to the other piece. And don't forget that you want 
one rounded tab up here and one here. I'm just calling it a tab. It's not really a tab. Well, I guess it is. It's the end tab, right? So look at how easy that was. Bam. Done. Now, this folds in nicely, just like that. Make sure you've got everything squared up here. You want your box to be square, of course. Isn't that cute? Oh, shoot. I shouldn't have done that yet. Dang it. Um, <laughs> it's been a very long day for me. So here's what I forgot is my sheet of acetate because I want to put some acetate on this box, okay? Um, yeah, I've had a really long day. I spent the entire day down in Milwaukee today with my stepdaughter. She's having some major, major um, problems after a hysterectomy that went very, very wrong. So um, could use some more of those prayers from you guys. I'd sure appreciate it, and I know she would too. She is really struggling, and we're trying to find a specialist, which we did today. Bless his heart. This was like the most awesome doctor I think I've seen in many, many years that is going to be able to help her. So um, I've got a piece of um, window sheet. This is two and a half inches by three inches, and you just need to make sure that it's going to cover the opening here. I should have put this on the back of this piece before I put it together, and that's why I was like, dang it. But yeah, it's, I'm, I'm not working on, on my best here today because it's been a very long day. We didn't get home till almost 5 o'clock tonight. That's a couple hour drive for us. And holy cow, it's like I said, it's just been a day. So I've got my acetate window in there. Isn't this the cutest little box? And I just want to show you what I decided to do with it. Um... I've still got my heart here that I cut out of the middle. I decided that I wanted to use the banner to go across the front of my box here. So we're gonna decorate that up just a little bit. And in, at the same time, I am also going to stamp a greeting for one of the little cards I'm gonna show you. I, I really love this bundle. It is absolutely precious. Here comes the Sure Do Love You. And I am inking this up in Melon Mambo ink. So I'm going to stamp it once. And without re-inking, I'm going to stamp it again. And look at that. You get a Melon Mambo and then a hot pink. And I just thought that this Melon Mambo was a little darker than I wanted to go with on my box. So I stamped it again in second generation ink, they call, call that, because I didn't re-ink it in my ink pad. And I really like this color that matches this little pink swatch that's on this particular design of the paper. I'm going to take this banner framelit that comes with the framelit set, and I'm going to go to my Big Shot and cut both of these out. I'll be right back. Okay, so here we go. I have both of these. I'm going to take this lighter pink one and some dimensionals, and I'm gonna add this to my box. I just thought this was just a really cute little accent. And did anybody notice my fingernail's gone? Yeah, it just busted right off. So that's another thing that I need to get, <laughs> get my butt gear, get my fingernail fixed. Okay, so I've got that on there, isn't that cute? Super easy, so far this has been so, so simple. Next, I wanted to use some of this tinsel. This is called the Love Mini Tinsel Trim Combo Pack. You get both of these, a gold and a pink one, um, in a pack when you order them. This is part of the Sure Do Love You bundle. And I wanted to pull out those gold accents, so I thought I would just get myself some of this tinsel and maybe tie a bow around here and I thought that would be super cute. I wanted to keep this box very simple because it's got so much going on with our designer series paper. It's just so pretty that I don't need to get too crazy with what I'm doing with my stamping, right? Because you don't want to take away from the beauty of the paper or you don't want to have so much going on that it gets drowned out in all the pattern. That's kind of the way I looked at it. Okay, there we go. Isn't that cute? Let's see, I got two pairs of scissors trying to come out. They both want to be used. Oh, 
shoot. I gotta clean my scissors. I have glue on them. Sticky doesn't work well on scissors. Okay, so here's our cute, cute little box. I absolutely adore this. It is super simple. And what would I do with this? Well, you can see in the catalog what they did with one of their boxes here is they put some white chocolate covered pretzels in there. Isn't that cute? What a nice little gift. And I love to make white chocolate pretzels. I'm a pro at it. So that's a really cute idea. The other thing that I thought would be kind of neat is some of these candy hearts. Who doesn't love the candy hearts? You know what I'm talking about. You could fill this whole box up with that and you're going to be able to see them through the window. And look, here's the peach, which is, you know, kind of like the Calypso Coral. Uh, purple, maybe rich razzleberry. That's in the colors of the other paper. But I thought it would be cute to fill the box up with these candy hearts. Or, here comes another fabulous idea. We have these Whisper White Narrow Note Cards and Envelopes. You can find those in the catalog on page 19 and they're right here. They don't even have a picture of them. So I know lots of people are gonna miss them. They have a sample right here, but they don't even have a picture of them. These little note cards and envelopes are just adorable. And they're perfect for this box. So you get all these little envelopes and then you get the note cards. They're already scored for you. So I wanted to show you how I made one of the four cards that I did for this particular project. And I'm just going to Give this a good burnish with my bone folder. Aren't these cute? And I love the rounded top here. I've got a really cool thing to show you with this too, so don't go any place. You get 20 envelopes and 20 note cards for $8. What a great deal. All right, remember the heart that we took out of the front of the box here? Well, I'm going to use it on my little card. And what I'm going to do here is... I've got some of this designer series paper and I'm just going to take that and I'm going to glue that right to the front of my card. Now this layer is two and three eighths by four and three eighths so it's just an eighth of an inch smaller than our note card. I'll pop that right, whoops I got some, got a little bit of glue on my finger. Okay. And then, remember I stamped this twice and die cut it. We used one on here, now we're gonna use this other one here. I am going to use some dimensionals on the back of my heart. Don't forget to use your edges. You don't wanna throw these edges away. They're just as good as the dimensionals themselves. I'm gonna put this right in the middle. And then on my Sure Do Love You banner, I am going to add oops, some dimensionals to each end. Don't put any in the middle because we've already popped up our heart. And I'm going to add this right to the middle. How stinking adorable is that? Don't go any place. I've got more. It's like, ooh, this is so exciting. I'm going to take some of the little, I'm eating a candy heart right now. Sorry, I shouldn't be talking and eating at the same time. I'm going to take the little candy hearts and I'm going to stamp the I'm yours kind of just helter skelter across the bottom there to add some cuteness to the inside too. And last but not least, I am bringing in my two and a quarter inch circle punch. I'm going to punch out a circle and I'm going to show you something really cool. These circles are the perfect size to line your envelope with. Look at that. Isn't that just the bomb? So here's how you do it. I just leave it in here. I know it's centered. I know that I've got it the right width or stuck into the envelope far enough that I've got a good 
even margin here. I'm just going to pick up the flap on my envelope, or my, pick up my circle a little bit, add some glue, press that down. You don't need to put glue in, in underneath that. It's not going any place, right? I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer, and I'm just lining up the fold of my envelope flap in the channel of my paper trimmer and I'm gonna score it so that when I fold this it's gonna fold right where it's supposed to isn't that cute it's just cute right okay so let me show you what else you can do with your box besides put candy in it we've got this card I made this card. I'll tell you a little bit about it. I used the little, um, we've got this heart paper, okay? So I used one side of it for the background on my card and I took the other side and just cut a little sliver of hearts off and put it here. I stamped this stamp in Versamark ink and I embossed it with gold embossing powder on vellum cardstock and die cut it with the heart die, which I can't find right now. Boom, found it. Okay, so I die cut it with that and I added some of the gold tinsel with a little mini glue dot. And again, I stamped on the inside with some Calypso coral. Okay, so there's the next one. Oh, and don't forget, I lined the envelope here comes the next one, and oh my gosh, this paper is just so beautiful. So I used the same stamp in Rich Razzleberry, that, can I say that word? Rich Razzleberry, and um, on white, die cut it, and then I just die cut a plain vellum heart and offset them a little bit. This is the Just For You that comes in the stamp set. I cut it into a little banner and added that super, super simple. And again, added a rich Razzleberry little heart in the inside and lined my envelope. And here comes the last one. So this one I just used a sliver of this striped paper, so an inch over here on the side. I stamped a whole bunch of the little hearts in the background with the Melon Mambo, the Rich Razzleberry, and the Calypso Coral. I stamped the Sure Do Love You with Versamark. I gold embossed it and die cut it on vellum. Again, the cards, vellum cardstock. And added a little heart to the inside and we have a lined envelope. So, what do you guys think? So I told you it's been a day. <laughs> I almost forgot to show you. I keep talking about what else can you do with this box. I've taken all four of my little cards and envelopes and stacked them together and you can fit these right inside this little box. It is just stinking adorable. Oh, let me get my little bow in there. Oops, there we go. They fit right in here. They're not bulging, it's not over full, it's fabulous. So this makes a great little gift idea too. I absolutely love this. There you go. I think for being in the at the hospital in Milwaukee all day and coming home and popping out the stamp set for the first time and the framelit set that I maybe knocked it out of the park today. <laughs> I'm so impressed. I just really sat down and I got all my stamps mounted. So let me grab this so you can see what I got going on here. I got all my stamps mounted. That's how I like to do it. I take all the stamps out of a stamp set. I mount them all on blocks so I'm not messing around going, oh, now I want to use this one and I have to go get a block and mount it and all that nonsense. So I put them all on blocks. I didn't even use this one yet or this one, but I'm pretty sure that I need to make a full-size Valentine card. I'll make some samples with these so you can see see some really cute stuff with them. This particular heart is like watercolored, so I love that. This one um, is just the right size to go around the outside of the die cut. So that would be beautiful. Die cut it on, you know, plain colored cardstock and then stamp this around the outside of the heart die cut. So that's really cool. So here you go. We have Valentine's is coming up before you know it. The Painted with Love Suite on page 18 and 19 
of the Occasions mini catalog. Now, if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you would like to get your hands on these catalogs, I would be thrilled to earn your business. Um, I can send you these catalogs. You pop me an email at kelly at a stamp above.com. And as always, you guys, I thank you for watching my videos. This is what keeps me in business. And I particularly thank you also for your orders because without the orders, I'm, you know, you're not making any money. And um, I've been helping my stepdaughter out quite a bit. She's not working right now and she's got some tremendous medical bills mounting. I feel horrible for her. And of course, if you've ever been in that position, you know how panicky you can be and riddled with anxiety over, oh my gosh, how am I going to make my car payment? How am I going to make my mortgage payment? How am I going to feed my two little girls? She's got two little girls and she's been sick sitting in a recliner since the hysterectomy on December 8th. It's been a living nightmare. So enough about that. I'm sorry. Like I said, I'm just kind of tired and it's been a long day. And this was my little bit of salvation because I got to have a little fun today. Not that we didn't have a good time, you know, chatting and driving to Milwaukee and back. But um, I sure would have rather been, it had been under better circumstances for sure. So again, thank you so much for your support. I really do appreciate it. Also know that... Um, it's celebration right now, and celebration is our biggest promotion of the year. When you order $50, you get to choose some free stuff from this celebration brochure. And there are some gorgeous, gorgeous products in here available for free. So for every $50 you spend, if you spend $100, you get to pick two. If you spend $150, you get to pick three. This is another little brochure that I can send along with your Occasions mini catalog if you don't happen to have one. So please let me know. Make sure you're clicking down here on the subscribe button. You don't want to miss anything coming out um, on my YouTube channel. And I'll have links. Go to YouTube right under this video. It'll say See More. When you click on See More, there'll be a link back to my blog that'll take you right there so that you can place um, an order. There'll be links for all of these products that I've shown you in this video today. You can click on them. It goes right to my Stampin' Up! store. It is easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right. Thank you so much for joining me for this video today. You guys have a great weekend. Bye-bye.